Thank you for watching Access Beginner Level 2. Again, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com and me, Richard Rost. I hope you enjoyed today's class and that you learned something. What's next? Well, next in the series is Access Beginner Level 3. Now, I'm currently in the process of re-recording all of my Access classes. I just finished 1 and 2, obviously. You just watched 2. And uh, I'm working on them. Now, the good news is, once you're past Beginner 1 and 2, the rest of everything that we cover pretty much is the same. It hasn't changed a lot since... The, you know, 2010, 2013, they're all, you know, access is pretty much the same. There are some minor differences like, you know, memo fields are now called long text fields and so on. But 99% but of the stuff that I've covered in these lessons hasn't really changed. So I'm going to show you what I covered in Access Beginner Level 3 the last time I did it back in 2010. I'm going to cover all of this stuff plus probably some new material as well. So by the time you're watching this, it's currently January of 2022. So depending on when you're watching, hopefully this class will last another 10 years, right? <laughs> well, 12 years, this one lasted. But, um, uh, you know, this stuff has good longevity. Access doesn't change much, all right? And where there are differences, I will note them uh, in the, the notes on that class. But in beginner level three, we're going to talk about field properties. Lots more with tables, field properties, field sizes, formatting, uh, input masks, more with default values, validation rules. That's where you can validate information as it's entered into the table. There's my old logo. It's kind of cheesy, huh? <laughs> All right. It's an hour and 19 minutes before. Every time I re-record it, it gets longer. So beginner of three is going to be probably two hours long by the next time I do it. We'll go more in depth in the table properties, right? And you can see the interface has changed a little bit since then, but not much. It's all, you know, it's all cosmetic, really. We'll talk a lot more about input masks, date formats. Talk more about default values, validation rules, what to do when that rule is violated, all kinds of stuff. Here's the full outline, all the stuff I used to cover, okay? You will find that on my website. I'll put a link to it down below so you can click on it and get to it easily. One thing I want to mention, if you're planning on learning with me, if you want to go through my entire series, I have something called the Learning Connection. It's a membership program where you get one new class every week or whatever frequency you want you could do one class every two weeks one class a month you could do two classes three classes a week whatever you want to do you'll save 50 percent on the regular prices of my courses all right you can join now here's all the questions and answers you can read all about it you can you can cancel whenever you want to and this is for people who want to start at the beginning you've already gone through le levels one and two you'll get level three then level four level five then the expert series and you get a 50 percent discount it's a great membership program and also, don't forget to check out my tech help videos. I've given you a lot of links in this class to other videos. All right. My tech help series, it's kind of like my weekly sort of kind of video blog where I go through and I answer questions that were sent in. All right. And you can see here, I try, to, I try to make one or two new ones of these every week. There's lots and lots of them on here. I got like 200 plus of them now. These aren't really for beginner beginners. All right. So you might want to wait until you're maybe closer to the expert series. Maybe get a couple more levels under your belt first. But. Once you get up to maybe, you know, beginner level four or five, you might want to start checking these out, especially if you have a question about more about subforms or input masks or whatever. All right. So that's, so that's my, my, my video Q&A series called Tech Help. One thing I would appreciate if you could take just a few minutes is your feedback on how much you enjoyed or didn't enjoy this course. Let me know. Be brutally honest. I appreciate the feedback. Uh, the only way I can make my course better, as I've been doing over the past 20 years, hopefully making it better, hopefully. Uh, is because I do get a lot of feedback, a lot of surveys from you, my customers, my students. So there's the link right there. It's the survey page. Pretty straightforward. It's a bunch of yes, no's, and a couple of comment boxes. So just let me know what you thought, and uh, I really, really, really would appreciate it. If you want to learn how to do anything, if there's something specific about Access or even Excel or Word that you, you can't figure out, you want to learn how to do it, first there's the search box on my website try typing in what you're looking for in the search box it might come up if not drop this little more box down and go to the access index all right that opens up a searchable uh page here this jumped from 1 to 14 back then but um it's got every keyword for every topic for every video i've ever done so if you're searching for something like dlookup or you want to learn how to do queries just go to that page search for it and it'll take you right to where you need to be here's my social stuff there's my blog which basically is just the news that I post on my website. I'm on Twitter. And of course, my YouTube page, where most of you found me, is on YouTube. So once again, on behalf of Access Learning Zone, I am Richard Rost. Thank you very much for watching this video, and we'll see you again in Access Beginner 3.
Want more? If you'd like to see me post the next lesson in the series for free here on my YouTube channel, be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and post a comment saying, I'd like the next lesson, please. Click on the link in the description below for more details on how this works.